Did you know? There was actually a research paper that was published in 2011, and it was titled, The History of African Gene Flow into Southern Europeans, Levantines, and Jews. This is what it had to say. We also detect 3% to 5% Sub-Saharan African ancestry in all eight of the diverse Jewish populations that we analyzed. For the Jewish admixture, we obtained an average estimated date of about 72 generations. This may reflect descent of these groups from a common ancestral population that already had some African ancestry prior to the Jewish diasporas. This means that the original Jews had black African ancestry. This is the reason why they don't want to teach you black African history in schools. Because then you start to critically think. And then it starts to open up the doors for you wondering other things. They have a legal obligation to share this type of information. But by teaching you to not prioritize your own black African history, they make it so that you never have a desire to find out. They depend on your not having access to the information and they depend on you not wanting to research the information. They have these legal obligations to share this information with the general public, but what they will continue to do in the black community is they will continue to perpetuate the myths and the lies in order to prevent us from having the curiosity necessary for us to just simply look at the information. The ancestors are calling kings and queens. Sankofa.